Welcome back, everybody, to Hayes Tech ROM Reviews. As promised, uh, this is my full review of uh, Frankie T's 6 ROM Oreo, which is Android version 8.0.0 for the Nexus 6. Um, there isn't a build out yet for the Nexus 6P. Uh, he wants to get this one working 100% uh, Bluetooth, everything. Um, and then he's going to go ahead and start working on the Nexus 6P. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, the only thing that is uh, not working on this is Bluetooth. Everything else is perfect, uh, data and everything. Um, quickly, uh, I'm going to let you, I'm going to go into this. I want want you guys to see that uh, this has uh, a custom kernel in it uh, that allows you to change things. I did go over a lot of this in the video, but I want to go more in depth. Uh, you can change your kernel CPU uh, and your governors. Uh, these are the governors that the, it comes with. Um, I'm not going to uh, say them all, but I will scroll down and let you guys see uh, what all it does come with. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I am still on conservative. Uh, a couple other things I like about it, uh, it's got quite a few different hot plugs. If you're into running hot plugs, uh, those are the hot plugs that you can run with this. Um, also, it allows you to change uh, your screen. Uh, you can. You, these are the presets. Uh, you can go with a lot of these. Right now, I, I'm running. Um, I'm running deep black. I think I'm running deep black colorful. That's the one I'm running. Uh, but this allows you to change that. Um, also, uh, the most important of it all is if you go under power and battery, uh, this gives you the USB fast charge, which I love. Um, this feature allows you to cha charge your battery really, really quickly. Um, and it has a couple other uh, settings in there as well. Uh, I.O. Scheduler, it does come with Maple uh, Scheduler, which I think is one of the best out so far, but uh, the old standbys, your BFQ, CFQ, and your, uh, I guess, SIO is gone, uh, but you can run Zen, anything else that you want to run, it's all there. Uh, you know, go ahead and have Adder. Um, and that's about it as far as that goes. Uh, I just wanted to get out, that out there real quick. Uh, also, this does not come with a lot of uh, apps. Uh, most of these I put on myself, Attaway, uh, Calendar, uh, Drive, let me see here, um, Hangouts, uh, Kernel Auditor Mod, Multi-ROM, uh, Google Photos, Quick Reboot, and Skype, and of course Substratum, uh, and Super User. Uh, those are all um, items that I installed um, after uh, afterwards. Uh, now with the uh, TVO package, uh, it did come with YouTube and a couple other ones, uh, the Google Plus, you know, stuff like that. But this ROM is a very, very stripped down ROM. So it's going to allow you to install what you want on it. Uh, but I did want you to see this is the stock launcher it comes with, which is basically Google Launcher. Uh, I did install the Pixel Launcher on it. And another cool thing about this ROM uh, is you can actually change that around uh, a lot quicker than you could in, in Nougat. Now, uh, as you guys can see, the uh, settings button is now moved to the bottom along with the edit button uh, and quite a few other things. Uh, the basic layout is still the same. Uh, but they, did, they are going now with like a black, which is pretty cool. Um, but that, those are the uh, differences there. Now if we go into settings, actually go into settings, uh, you'll notice that we don't have that swipe over. If I go into like network and settings, uh, you don't have that swipe over where you can just swipe over and it brings up the other window and you can go back into your settings again. Uh, that's one of the other things that they changed. They kind of they kind of did a lot of different uh, a different setup for settings. Um, I think it's a little more. I think it's easier to navigate. Uh, it's easier to find things. Uh, basically, where they put things is where you would imagine they would go uh, under your uh, suggestions or your your uh, your suggestions header up here. Uh, you can expand that if you want. Uh, you touch it again, it completely gets rid of it. Um, but that was your network. Uh, you have your connected devices, which uh, if you have any uh, connected USB, Bluetooth, anything like that, it's going to show up uh, in here. Obviously, with Bluetooth not working in this ROM, uh, that's not going to show anything there. Uh, you do have your apps configuration uh, and notifications. Uh, this is where you're going to set that up at. Uh, if you drop that down uh, to your advanced, you can go into default apps. Uh, you have your default apps. If you click on home app, this gives you the option to choose between any um, uh, you know, um, launcher that you have installed, say Nova Launcher, Google Now Launcher, Pixel. Again, I installed the Pixel Launcher from TBO, so that gives me the uh, Pixel Launcher. If you guys are into that, 
um, that's how you change that around. So we're going to go back into settings and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go back into apps and notification, advanced, uh, default, and we're going to go ahead and put that back on the Google Now Launcher. And we're going to move on. Um, again, guys, this is not customized. It's just stripped down. Uh, once it gets it running good, you know, uh, then maybe the features will start uh, getting added in uh, later. But for right now, he just wants a good, solid running ROM. And so far it is. Um, I'm guessing Bluetooth is not going to be that long away uh, to fix. So uh, keep, uh, I, I would definitely keep checking back. Uh, under, under the uh, display settings, uh, these are your display settings. Notice how they're very, very light, uh, but they do have that advanced button. You click on the advanced button. That brings up your sleep timer, which I have set at 30 minutes because I'm doing a video. Uh, your device rotation. You do have your font size uh, and your display size, just like it was in Nougat where you can change it on the fly. Uh, they still have that. Uh, along with that, they have lip check bone, um, your screen saver, ambient display if you guys want to run with that. And a new uh, feature on this is called a device theme. So I'm guessing they're planning on you running some kind of theme, uh, substratum, you know, whatever. Uh, but this actually allows you to pick between any theme that you have installed. Uh, I'm not going to click on it because then in order to get rid of the theme, I have to go back into substratum because they don't give you like the default setting. I'd have to go back into substratum and I'd have to disable it. Uh, but trust me, guys, this feature does work. Um, whatever I have, whatever theme is enabled, it will actually show up on here. Um, and it's just as simple as just picking one. So you do have that feature. Uh, let me see under sound. These are your sound settings. Um, if you go under advanced, that of course expands that. Uh, these are your other settings. Um, you do have your dial pad, you know, screen locking, all that. Uh, that is there. Uh, these are your storage settings if you guys are interested in that. Uh, what's really cool about it, though, is it does show, uh, without even looking at it um, back here, it'll show you what's used, what you have free. Uh, you don't even have to really go into it. Uh, it you know, it just shows you right off the bat. It uh, does have the free up space, and you do have the storage manager. Just be aware, if you use the storage manager and you turn that on, it's going to delete any at, or any pictures and videos that are uh, over a certain amount of days, and I can't remember how many days that is. Uh, so if you have any real high-quality videos or pictures, um, you guys know that uh, uploading them to, uh, uh, to Google's um, um, uh, you know, saver or their picture app, I can't even think, uh, it only uploads them in, um, in I think, 780 or, or 1080p. Uh, so you're going to lose any ultra high definition videos that you have, may have saved. Uh, moving on, uh, security and lock screen. Uh, these are your settings for that. Um, they, it does say on here for some reason that uh, where it says to encrypt uh, encryption credentials, it says phones encrypted. I think that that's just a setting in the... Um, uh, just in the phone's uh, build prop, because the phone's not encrypted. Uh, I checked. It's not encrypted. Um, so I don't know what's up with that, uh, but I just want to let you guys know that, uh, you know, to be aware. Um, uh, you know, it's just your basic uh, settings, and I, th I think I was looking around here, and I found some other things. Um, let me see here. Device admin apps. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted to show you. Oh, it's got your lock screen preferences. Um, on the lock screen, you can show all notifications or none or whatever. Uh, you do have your uh, um, ad users from the lock screen and uh, lock screen message, uh, which I already put uh, Hayes, Tech, or Hayes Tech and ROM reviews. Yes, 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 I know. Um, you know what? Uh, I'm going to pause this. Nope, I'm just going to keep on going. So that's security, uh, users and accounts. Uh, this is going to be your Google account, uh, and if you have any other uh, user accounts that you put on it, uh, I know some of you guys like to run with a dual account, um, or if you share your phone with your, your wife or whatever, uh, that's where you would go for that. Um, accessibility, uh, this is going to be where, um, wow, okay, uh, downloaded services, it's showing the uh, kernel auditor mod I have on there. Um, you have your text-to-speech there, your font size, display size, again, is on there. They do, they do have the magnification. Uh, you can turn that on if you want. Uh, let me see, your power end call button. Uh, that's where you're going to find that um, audio in that. You know, if you guys need that, that's where it's all at. Your color inversion's at the bottom. 
Uh, let's see, that was accessibility under Google. These are your Google settings. They, I mean, they have pretty much all the settings you're used to seeing. Uh, they're there. And then last but not least is system. And they kind of grouped everything that we're used to doing uh, in system. Uh, you have your uh, language and input. Right now I'm running with the uh, Google uh, Google keyboard. You guys can run with whatever one you want. Uh, although the one that comes with it, the AOSP, uh, if you try to switch over and use a font or uh, fonts or um, not fonts, uh, symbols, uh, it force closes for some reason. I don't know why, but it does. So I'm using Google's keyboard. That's the one I use anyways. Uh, you do have your date and time settings here. Uh, you can do, do your backup. Uh, developer options I already unlocked. Uh, as well as the system UI tuner, and we'll get to the system UI tuner here pretty soon. But these are your settings under the developer options. Uh, USB debugging if you want to. Uh, actually, that's turned on by default. Uh, you can turn that off if you want. Uh, it's say if it's uh, affecting your uh, safety check, um, you know, for uh, uh, Magisk. Uh, although I don't run Magisk, I'm not even worried about that safety check. So uh, these are your wireless settings. I got a, quite a few. Um, settings for Bluetooth and that. And I'm just wondering if maybe that might have something to do uh, with Bluetooth not working. Uh, I mean, a lot of, of new things that come out uh, for Bluetooth. Um, so the settings are there. Uh, I'm just wondering if maybe it's a default setting that uh, Google, uh, you know, built in that's, you know, causing uh, the crash. Maybe uh, if we put the Bluetooth app back in and get in here and try to uh, change those settings, maybe it'll work. I don't know. I'm not a developer. Um, so we'll see. Uh, you have your input section and your drawing section. Uh, now your animations are all set at 1 as flashed. Uh, again, guys, I like to run it at 0.5, uh, but everything comes at 1. Uh, so I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. Um, I can't think of anything else in here that you would uh, want to uh, know about. Um, yeah, that's about it. Um, you have your system updates. Then you have your phone reset. Uh, about phone, again... Um, this is 6 ROM. Uh, it is for the Nexus 6 Android version 8.00. Uh, it's your August security patch, your baseband version. Kernel, again, I already went over the kernel with you guys. It's outstanding kernel, uh, and it, uh, it is running SE Linux status, uh, status permissive. So that's really cool, especially for those of you like me that run apps that require that permissive um, uh, status. Uh, it is already set at that. Uh, what's up next is the system UI tuner now. In order for you guys to get that, it doesn't come already turned on. You have to actually press and hold that uh, settings icon just like in Nougat. Press and hold it and it'll start to spin and then that will unlock this feature for you. Uh, but under this you have your status bar settings where you can um, pick and choose what you want to actually show uh, on the status bar. Um, yeah, go back. There we go. Uh, you have your do not disturb settings, uh, you know, to show with the uh, volume controls. Uh, and then your volume button shortcut. Uh, you have your navigation bar. Now this is really cool. You can change the layout. Uh, right now I have it centered uh, or what they call normal. I can go compact. That actually moves the buttons in a little close to the center. Uh, I can go with a left leaning, what they call. And since I use my phone in my left hand, uh, it actually makes sense. And I've actually been running it here with the buttons on the left hand side. Um, it just makes it easier for one hand use. Uh, you can actually go to the right right leaning and it's going to put it on the other side for you. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to the left leaning because that's how I use it. Um, let me see, then you have your uh, extra button type. Uh, you can actually add extra buttons for, uh, you know, if you're on the left or the right. Uh, you can put in a, a clipboard key code, uh, your keyboard switcher or none. And I have none, obviously. <laughs> uh, and then, of course, it has the right button type. It just, if you move it over, it gives you this feature here. So, uh, now you do have your lock screen settings. This is what I was, I, I was looking for that on lock screen. It's actually in here. Uh, it does give you uh, the option to put a left and a right shortcut in your bottom of your lock screen. You just click on that. Uh, pick, uh, you know, whatever app you want to show uh, in that. And it will, uh, it'll put that out there for you. Same for the right. Uh, so that gives you uh, options there. And guys, that's it. Um, this is 6ROM. There, we're back on the... No, I'm still on Pixel Launcher. Oh, I know why. Uh, whenever you guys use that feature, uh, you want to go... Let me see. Apps and Notifications. We want to go to Advanced, Default, uh, Home. And I want to click on Google Launcher. Uh, and then I want to click Home. 
that'll actually switch it. Yeah. So, guys, that's six ROM uh, Oreo. This is Android version 8.0.0. Again, I told you guys I would do a full review on it for you. Uh, again, it's it's all running great. Uh, I, I showed you guys in a video. Uh, camera app is definitely working. Uh, this is video right now. Uh, I can take video in there, and video does work. And if I swipe over, we go back to camera um, and take pictures. It does work. There, there we go. Pictures, uh, everything works. Um, pull up, see. So, uh, cameras working. Everything is working. The only thing that is not functioning in this is Bluetooth, and I have a. I have a feeling that uh, it's not, or the fix for the Bluetooth is not far off. So, uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I do want to thank all of my subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, and uh, as long as we keep coming up with stuff like this, there may be more videos coming. Um, I was kind of worried things were going to dry up. Um, but uh, I'm curious to see what the uh, custom, uh, what the custom world is going to do with this. Uh, like I said already... Uh, I've been talking uh, back and forth with Frankie. Uh, he's been throwing some ideas out. I'm not going to say anything uh, because I don't want to give anything away, but uh, it's going to be very, very interesting. So uh, I want to thank you guys for watching the video, and I will see you on the next one.